short video is a very brief overview of sex cord stromal tumours. Sex cord stromal tumours are derived from the sex cords or stroma of the gonads and they occur in the testes and ovaries. So what are sex cords? They are embryological structures that are essential for the development of the germ cells and they form the tissues that regulate and nourish primordial germ cells. In females, sex cords develop into the ovarian follicle or granulosa cells and in males they develop into the Sertoli cells of the seminiferous epithelium. This is a graphene follicle in the ovary and the individual cells making up the follicle are known as granulosa cells. This section of testis shows seminiferous tubules lined by Sertoli cells. Sex cord stromal tumours are approximately twice as common in females than males and comprise approximately 8% of all ovarian tumours and 4-5% to of all testicular tumours. There are four main types of sex cord stromal tumours including Leydig cell tumours, Sertoli cell tumours, granulosa cell tumours and fibrothecomas. Here are a few sex cord stromal tumours. This one is a Sertoli cell tumour of the testis. This is the gross appearance of a granulosa cell tumour of the ovary. Here is a Leydig cell tumour of the testis. And this is the gross appearance of an ovarian fibroma and this is the most frequent sex cord stromal tumour to occur in the ovary. It is the granulosa cell tumours and Sertoli cell tumours that are derived from the sex cords and the tumours derived from gonadal stroma are Leydig cell tumours and fibrothecomas. Finally there are a number of useful markers for diagnosing sex cord stromal tumours. They include inhibin, carotenin, melanae and WT1. The most useful marker is inhibin. For illustration purposes, this is an example of the use of inhibin for diagnosing a sex cord stromal tumour. This tumour turned out to be a granulosa cell tumour of the testis. The areas of brown staining indicate positivity for inhibin.